Hi folks, um, my name is Chris Shepherd. I'm a landscape photographer based in uh, Epping Forest in Essex in the UK. Now, what am I making these videos for? Well, if you ever ask me what type of camera I used, uh, I would always say a Canon. I've got lots and lots of Canon gear. Um, let's have it. Let me show you. So this is what I would regard as my uh, standard kit for taking photos. Um, it's all Canon gear, and it's the uh, we've got the 5DS, 50 megapixel, lovely. Um, we've got standard lens, wide angle lens, and the 100-400 Mark II, which is a beast of a lens. And those allow me to get almost everything I need to take photos of. Um, but over the years, I've bought an awful lot of Canon gear, um, two, two other bodies, uh, spare lenses, flash units, everything. I've really bought into the Canon system in a big way. So why am I even looking at Olympus? Well it occurred to me recently that although I've got this big investment in Canon, actually my best selling images, the ones I sell the most of, are actually taken with this baby. This is a little Olympus Pen EPM1. Um, 12 megapixels, but for the sort of commercial uh, work I often do, black and white stuff in London, it seems to be perfect for it. So the idea kind of occurred to me um, that I should upgrade this uh, as it's getting a little bit long in the tooth, and I recently upgraded to the EM10, which is very nice as well. But um, Olympus kindly offered me would I like a go of their flagship camera? And here is the bag that the uh, lovely Claire has just uh, delivered for me to play with. Let's have a look what's inside. So we have inside this bag, we have a body. This is the EM1 Mark II. Um, so we're looking at going from a little beastie. So there's a big difference in size there. Now, what I wonder is, are we going to get equivalent kind of performance? Now, I know we're not going to get 50 megapixel performance from a 20 megapixel camera, but is it good enough or even better in some ways? Um, what else we got? Okay, so we got a 12 to 40 lens which uh, is on a wide angle lens and ooh, this is the oh no 7 to 14 7 to 14 is wide angle 12 to 40 is the uh, standard lens because you have to double the uh, focal lengths in this system and finally we get a 40 to 150 which is not equivalent to an 80 to 300 so okay it's not going to be as long as the uh, 100 to 400 but it will probably do for me uh, I usually use the 100 to 400 as a landscape isolating lens not particularly a wildlife lens so there we have now it's interesting um, because the Olympus camera is so much smaller um, than the Canon but some of these lenses don't actually seem that much smaller apart from when you get to the telephoto end and then suddenly we're talking a bit bigger um, for comparison let's grab a 300mm lens yeah, so there's a there's a Canon 300mm lens, uh, so so these two are equivalent at the, at the end of the lens, and uh, see we are talking a lot of difference. So let's get the scales out and see how much difference weight-wise we're talking about. So I've devised what must be the most ridiculous set of scales ever, and this is a tiny set of kitchen scales resting on a Dell nap notebook. Um, but I put the uh, Canon gear on it. We come up with a weight of four kilos, 
only 25 grams. Let's see how much the equivalent Olympus kit weighs. Okay, so here we are with the Olympus kit, and if we look down, it's actually only two and a half kilos. So saving nearly one and a half kilos, I guess, something like that. Um, that's quite a significant weight saving. Do I lose anything from image quality? So well, this is what we're going to find out. So I thought I'd show you some of the various uh, images I take, a uh, range of subjects. And I always think to myself that the Canon 5D is my serious camera and the uh, little pen is my play camera. But as I said before, it seems that the images are to me have a similar characteristics, um, certainly both in my style, and the the uh, pen images seem to sell quite well. So, you know, who knows what's right, um, what I should use. So that's one of the reasons why I want to investigate um, using the uh, EPM-1. And why I'm talking about weight, um, because weight makes a difference to your photography. Because if you can't be bothered to pick up that big camera, I can't take it out with you just for that, you miss the shot. And if you don't get the shot, there's nothing you can do with it. Now, there's a reason why so many photos are taken with um, camera phones is because people have them on the on all the time. A big heavy camera is bulky. It's difficult to take with you. You have to make a conscious effort to take it. Same with tripods, same with lenses. You know, if you can take two lenses, drop one in each pocket, that's great. Um, you can go out and take as many photos as you like. If you have to carry it, take a special bag and stuff like that, it doesn't get taken out as much, which means you miss the opportunity for photos. It's something to consider. Your mileage, of course, may vary. Um, so this is the first in a series of um, shots, a series of uh, videos, and uh, as you can probably tell, this is my first go at making videos. So uh, any feedback is appreciated. Um, whatever you want to say, please leave something in the comments. Maybe subscribe to see if you can like bear some more of this. But um, hopefully, you'll find it interesting as I explore um, life with this new camera. Thanks very much.